In this video, we show you how to configure and use My Fitness Companion. Please read the disclaimer and press the I Agree button if you agree. You are presented with a user profile screen where you can personalize My Fitness Companion. Tap on username and enter your first and last name. Press the Done button on your keyboard. Tap on Gender. Then in the pop-up window, select your gender. Select the same steps to enter your birth date. Unit preference, height, and weight. Now these values are used to calculate your calories burned. Press Save to store your profile. You're then presented with the general settings screen. Now here, you can configure items such as your preferred language, how you want to be notified, enabling audio feedback after a measurement. Adjust the settings to your preferences and press Save to store your settings. You're now in the main screen of My Fitness Companion. Now, several monitors are activated when you install My Fitness Companion for the first time. We will now show you how to configure the blood pressure monitor. Now, you can configure other monitors following the same steps. Press the blood pressure icon on the main screen. In the blood pressure screen, press the menu icon and then select settings. In the blood pressure configuration screen, you can activate or deactivate the blood pressure monitor. Set analysis to on if you want My Fitness Companion to analyze your readings. If you set the analysis on, you need to enter maximum and minimum values. For the blood pressure monitor, click on Max Systolic. Now enter the maximum systolic value. Repeat the steps for the other items and press Save to store the blood pressure configuration. You can now take a manual blood reading by tapping the plus sign. Tap on Systolic and enter the systolic value. Do the same for the diastolic value. You can enter additional details such as date, time, and category. And click on Save to store the blood pressure readings. And when you have several readings, you can show your history in a graph by tapping the graph icon. Or you can filter your reading based on start and end date. If you want to delete a reading, you can do this in two ways. By tapping the check boxes of the readings you want to delete. Then press the delete icon. This is the recommended method if you want to delete multiple readings in one go. Or you can swipe the reading you want to delete. If needed, you can undo the last removed reading. If you configured My Fitness Companion to synchronize with one or more servers such as Microsoft Health Vault, you can synchronize by swiping your finger vertically. And we showed you the basics on how to use My Fitness Companion. Please check out the other videos on how to configure wireless sensors and servers such as Microsoft Health Vault.